Welcome to our lecture online. This approximation method actually lends itself to another interesting way of finding an eigenvector. We know that if we take a matrix and multiplying it times its unknown eigenvector, it will be equal to the eigenvalue times the corresponding eigenvector. In the previous video, we used this as an example, the 2 by 2 matrix. We call this matrix A. If we multiply that times the unknown eigenvector, that is equal to the eigenvalue with the corresponding eigenvector. So in this case, if we're given that the eigenvalue is equal to minus 1, let's find the corresponding eigenvector using this approximation method. So first of all, we write down the matrix. We get 2, minus 12, 1, and minus 5. Multiply times vector we're looking for, x and y, and that will be equal to minus 1 times the vector we're looking for, which is x and y. And this will allow us to find the values for x and y that matches this. What that means, if we multiply this, we get this uh, 2 times x minus 12 times y equals minus x, and 1 times x minus 5y equals minus y. So these two equations can then be simplified to give us 3x minus 12y equals 0. And here we get x minus 4y equals 0. And now we have to solve these two simultaneous equations. We can use the row echelon form uh, methodology. So what we're going to do here is write this in an augmented matrix form. 3 minus 12, 0. And 1 minus 4 and 0. And right away we realize that the second row here, 1 minus 4, is a fraction of the first row. We'll multiply this by 3, we get that. So there's a duplicate here. We can then say that this is equal to 1, negative 4, and 0. And we we'll turn that into 0, 0. So basically what we can do is we can swap the two rows. And we can eliminate one of them because they're duplicate rows. This means that uh, 1x minus 4y is equal to 0, or x equals 4y, which means that if we make, uh, not x, but if we make y equals to 1, then x is equal to 4, and therefore, from that, we can conclude that if negative 1 is our eigenvalue, then the corresponding eigenvector, v2, is equal to 4 and 1. And if you go back to the previous video, you will find indeed that that was our second eigenvector to this corresponding eigenvalue. And that's how it's done.